Imagine this, you're fast asleep and you're woken up by a police officer knocking on your window telling you there's a bear in your yard. I'm Neil Abair, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo, where a bear was seen running through the streets of downtown San Luis Obispo Tuesday morning, eventually making its way into this backyard. It was nice meeting you. A wild start to a typical Tuesday morning. I didn't know what to do. So Call like, animal services. Yeah. Slow down exactly. Down. Is crazy. This video from Yvonne Liu in San Luis Obispo shows a bear running west on the 1000 block of Mill Street just before six Tuesday morning. Luckily, our roommate works for animal services, so that was a pretty easy, yeah. you know, yeah. wake up. Hey, <laughs> call your boss own. right now. <laughs> There's a bear in our backyard. Yeah. Tanner Mahoney and his roommates live at the yeah. house where the healthy bear ended up, but it was Justice Cooper who got the knock on his window, alerting him of the bustling bear. It was probably four feet from the window and I basically just went to all, all their doors and was like, there's a, yeah, they got to check it out. So it's just kind of such like a large shock factor that it's like, you don't really know what to say or do. You kind of just looking at it like, like whoa. there's just a massive brown bear in our backyard. Me homesick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh. Within a few hours of being on scene, San Luis Obispo County Animal Services, California Fish and Wildlife, along with the San Luis Obispo Police Department, were able to tranquilize the bear and relocate it to a more suitable habitat. The four roommates were understandably surprised the bear showed up in their yard, and for each, it was a unique experience. I grew I'm up from Tahoe, yeah. so it's, yeah, it's yeah. rare to not see a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a bear, at least this up close, outside of a national park. I've, I've heard stories. <laughs> Lompoc, so yeah, I've seen like lots of bears over there. Not a lot of bears in the city of Slow typically, but I spoke with Dr. Eric Anderson with Slow County Animal Services about the situation, and he tells me it's more common than you would think. You might remember in May of last year, a black bear found its way into a tree in downtown Paso Robles. Along with that, mountain lion and bobcat sightings pop up fairly often here on the Central Coast. Dr. Anderson says not to be alarmed by this situation because it's expected from time to time living in a quaint and unique environment like the Central Coast with cities that act as a border for their natural habitat. Animals like bears use overgrown wilderness areas or creek beds through town as protection and natural channels for their travel. Dr. Anderson offered a few tips to help keep bears and animals alike from your property. Keep your trash secured, keep fruit off the ground and harvested, and feed pets indoors when possible. Dr. Anderson says he's happy with how everything was handled and that the bear is back in its natural habitat. Covering a bear running through city streets in San Luis Obispo, Neil Abair, KSBY News.